Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Today we are playing a new mobile game called Pocket Blocks and I'm so excited to share this with you all. I also want to thank the Pocket Blocks team for sponsoring this video and supporting me in the channel. Thank you so so much. This is a life simulation game. We start off on an island and we're building up our island from scratch basically and building it into like a whole beautiful city. It's great. It'll be coming out later this month on the Google Play and Apple Store. So keep an eye out for the game. You can follow it using the links down below to check out when it's going to come out later this month. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to jump right into the game. So we're here on my island and as you can see, I have a lot of buildings. So there's a lot of fun structures that you can unlock and these will help you progress through the game and build up your island and all that stuff. And it looks like I have some stuff ready so we can get some energy from that and we can get some hay from over here. And I've slowly been working on increasing like the size of our little town. As you can see, there's like a lot of shrubbery I still have to clear, but hey, we've got some empty spots right over here, which is great but I've just been trying to manage everything. And you know, that's been one of the things on my list that I'm trying to do here. So there's a big variety in things that you can do gameplay wise. We could go fishing, we could go collect materials, which you know what, I'll pick up this little starfish over here. And ooh, there's some seashells here too. Don't mind if I do. We can also work on our farming and planting. So my corn is ready to harvest. I might as well just get that. We'll plant something else. I think I'm gonna do tomatoes. I haven't done tomatoes yet. So we'll plant some nice little tomatoes and you know what let me start clearing some stuff here and there just because I think I want to do a little bit of rearranging like I have a lot of buildings and I've kind of just been placing them wherever so I thought together we could like organize everything and make it really satisfying Ooh, look at this huge rock this costs a lot of energy to remove but you know what we can do it we can afford to do it so yeah let's go ahead and work on that I feel like we could really like spruce everything up I'm kind of using the farmland as like our central point you know so let's try to build around that so it's super easy just to move everything around you just press and hold and then wherever we're able to place it we can move it so let's just move this stuff around for now we have a few structures that are like kind of farmy kind of barn type of structures so I definitely want to have those very close to the farmland so definitely this one and then this is a little restaurant it's so cute but we'll put that aside for now same with this one we'll move that away this one is also like a little barn and it's so cute so I need this one to be close by our crops it just makes sense okay let's have our two farmy structures right here right in front of the crops that's perfect I guess this one is also like kind of a barn so we'll put this one here too might as well we'll put it like over here on the side we're kind of making a, a square around these crops Ooh, look at how cute it looks if we upgrade it you know what I'm gonna upgrade it. I'm gonna use some of our gems. Might as well. I do have a good amount. Ooh, now it has a cute little fence. Okay, I'm glad that I did that. We also have a little woodshed, and this one is so cute. I think I want to put this one nearby the storage. And let's upgrade this one too. Might as well. Look how cute that made it. Now it has like little trees around it. I love that. Okay, we have our little like leisure cabin, and I was thinking this could also be cute, like right at the front, because this is where we load into the game and this is like right on the beach so if people arrive here or if I arrive here they can see the leisure cabin right up front and then we also have the little clothes store which I will put right next to the leisure cabin and you know what while we're here we might as well change our outfit so in pocket blocks you can really just become your own character with like all of these trendy clothes and cute outfits and stuff now I really love this cat sweater I have on I also really like this Christmas one but I have I haven't unlocked that one yet. I was wearing this little like cute heart pixel tee, but you know what? I think I'll stick with the cat sweater. That's just been so cute. That's been my favorite lately. And I've been having these pants, but you know what? I'm thinking some shorts would be better, especially because these have the little paw print. So we'll do some shorts. I really love these shoes. I also like these little slides with the bunny. Wait, these kind of match our sweater a little bit better. I think I'll go ahead and buy those because those are the perfect look and we'll go straight into the accessories I do love these little wings but I'm kind of going for like a more cutesy look you know so I think I'm gonna buy these cute little silver hoop earrings those are adorable so not only can you customize your clothes but 
you customize your character at the beginning of the game and you can change it anytime so you can go here and change your hair change your makeup change anything you really want in here oh i love that hairstyle so much I think we need this one. Oh, we absolutely need this one. Yes. I have to make our hair pink. I have to make our hair pink. We are absolutely adorable now. Let's get back to the organizing of the island. I think I'm actually going to scooch all of these kind of down just a little bit. I think I'll move the weaving workshop over here too. I think it fits. I think it's very fitting. It's so cute. And we also have this large warehouse, which just looks so cute. I think it can really fit over here with the little farm area. I think lastly, I'm going to put this little wood shop right there as well. And that completes our little square around our farmland. Very adorable. Now we do have some other buildings around these edges, so we'll get started on organizing these as well. The water park I want to move in kind of like the middle. I want it to be like the center of attention. So I think I'm going to put it kind of here. That's kind of in the middle back here. And we can fit the restaurant over here so close to the water park. So that when you're tired and hungry from the water park, you can go eat at the restaurant, of course. And we can come over to the picnic table and eat some of the food that we've cooked for energy. So I'll go ahead and eat that. It's delicious, of course, because I made it. Anyways, let's continue on with our organizing. We just have a few buildings left. Thankfully, it's all pretty easy. Placing the buildings is just very stress-free and it's not frustrating at all. Well, you let me know. Do you think we're looking more organized? Because I think that we absolutely are. We've got our farmland production area. Our corn is growing in nicely. We've got a few things over here. This is where the hot air balloon will dock right there. And over here, we've got the restaurant. We've got some bread baking and our water park, our water tower, some more stone production. We even got some chickens chilling here. They're waiting for that corn to be done honestly <laughs> and we've got some more of our little buildings over here in our cute little picnic table i think we did pretty well honestly we did pretty pretty well so now that we've done that let's go reward ourselves let's go exploring part of some of the other things you can do is you can go to other islands and explore so we do have this section called island welfare so let's go ahead and do some of these now these are like little structures you can build and this is so fun i love this so we open up these part packs and we get all these parts for building a little structure so we have to align it with the little holes and the colors on the ground so we just have to figure out where everything goes pretty much so i'm assuming that this is gonna go right on top and when it blinks like that you know that you're placing it in the right spot so then this will go on top because i see those blue bricks lining up and then obviously the final piece up on top and there we go we built our little woodshed that's so cute and we got rewarded with some energy for doing that so that's great thank you so much so you can actually do this with your actual structures on your island when you want to build them um you can do this instead of using materials and they get a little tricky sometimes it's a fun challenge but let's see if we can do this next one there we go and sometimes you have to rotate it so it's in the right like position so let's see this goes right on top of there and then we have to find these little spots I see this goes on the roof. There we go. And then I see this teensy little spot right here where that goes. There's our stone factory. Cute. But I did still want to go and explore. So let's go to Bright Light Island. I've already been exploring here just a little bit, but not too much. So let's go see what else we can find. Hello. I love this character so much. So you have like little helpers that are helping you build the island. And they are so cute. Like, look at him so we are looking for someone who was here so we're trying to find out where they are and that's why we're exploring so much okay we made it to the middle of this little stretch of islands we've repaired this windmill and we just found a chest but i have to clear this rock first Oof, that's a lot of energy it's okay it's worth it whatever's gonna be in this chest is gonna be amazing it's gonna be incredible we found reinforcing material for the signal station which is exactly what we were looking for i told you i told you okay well we didn't find who we were looking for but we can enforce the signal of our station so that'll help us find him in the future so making good progress making good progress we'll go ahead and level up our signal station and hopefully we'll find some npcs soon and we'll befriend them and unlock their storylines i'm so excited for that and i know that you can also visit your friend's island so i can't wait to unlock that as well but yeah there is a look into pocket blocks i hope you had fun let me know what you think thank you again to the pocket blocks team for sponsoring this video thank you so 
so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one